people. Do you see what I am looking at? White at the top, green at the bottom, people. This is our first Pendulum Synchro Monster. Okay, so we've been waiting for it. We've been waiting for it for a cool minute. Ever since we got Eyes Rebellion, we're like, oh, cool. You know, XC Pendulum. We ever going to get that Synchro Pendulum or that Fusion Pendulum? No? I, I bet I bet you guys 20 fucking dollars. Everybody thought that the first Synchro Pendulum Monster was going to be like Odd Eyes Clear Wing Dragon or something like that. Some combination, but nope, 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 completely different. This is Nirvana High Paladin, people. This, this, this guy, this guy. <laughs> Uh, he is a Dark Spellcaster Synchro Pendulum Effect Monster. Whew, that is a mouthful. Level 10 on y'all. Level 10. Uh, pendulum Scale of 8, so that, that's pretty good. You know, that's as high as you can generally get when it comes to Pendulum Scale, so pretty good. 3300 attack, 2500 defense. The stats are nice and powerful. He's made with one tuner plus one or more non-tuner Synchro Monster. So... You first the synchro into a synchro monster, and then use another tuner and synchro. That's kind of like how you make uh, that crystal meth, you know. Uh, you know, you go ahead and take that baking powder, and then the cost syrup, and then I'm not. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wrong crystal meth. Anyway, uh, this guy has a whole bunch of powerful effects. We're gonna go ahead and look at each one of them, and uh, determine the power of this monster because there's no one else like him. I mean, who else are we gonna compare him to? What another pendulum synchro monster? I don't think so. So. Let's go ahead and look at that pendulum effect. So, this pendulum effect reads, If a pendulum monster you control attacks, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay. Also, you take no battle damage from that attack. So, you go ahead and attack into a monster, the, your monster is not destroyed, and you take no damage. But what's the point of doing that? Alright. At the end of the damage step, if a pendulum monster you control attacked, all monsters your opponent currently controls loses attack equal to... That monster's current attack until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. So even if the pendulum scales get popped, this guy gets popped in the pendulum scale, don't worry because he is still good. He's still going to get his pendulum effect. So what does that mean? All right, let's say, for example, he's in the pendulum zone. He's one of my pendulum scales. I have a Skull Crow Bad Joker. I'm going to go ahead and have that Skull Crow Bad Joker crash into your Jinzo with, you know, 2400. I, I attack. I'm not destroy a battle. I don't take the damage, which would be, you know, 600, right? But, you're going to lose my last attack, so you're going to lose 18. That Jinzo is dropping by 18, going down to 600 till the end of the turn. That is that is some pretty powerful stuff. That, that really is. That, that, that's not bad. He's just helping out all the pendulum monsters here. He's saying, like, hey, I'm a pendulum-based monster and a synchro monster, but I I got my pendulum homie. So, I'm in the pendulum scale. You guys you guys aren't getting fucked up. You know, you guys aren't getting fucked up. Uh, just keep in mind, it says if a pendulum monster you control attacks, not just battles, attack. So, like I say, if we flip this the other way around and Nirvana's in your pendulum scale, you have a skull curve by Joker, and they attack the Jinzo into your skull curve by Joker, you're dead. You're dead, you're taking damage. It only, this only works if your pendulum monster attacks into your opponent. And then, uh, the, the craziness will ensue, but only if you attack. So, alright, alright, I can go with that. No shame in that game. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that monster effect. We already know that he is made with one tuner plus one or more non-tuner synchro monsters. So, uh, you know, a eight synchro and a level two tuner or whatever. I mean, you you could probably bust it out with ease. I mean, you can just go, all right, you know, Mally effect, summon Mally, summon Plague, bam, there's the eight. Plague effect, because, you know, take a card in my hand, put it on top of the deck, summon that. The Plague Spreader back, bam, there's 10 right there. So, it's pretty simple, pretty simple. But, this man makes it even simpler for you as if he could do that for you. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that first effect, and your your, your jaw will drop. If this card synchro, before this card synchro summon, you could treat one pendulum summon pendulum monster you control as the tuner monster. People, that is some power. I, I've seen it done plenty of times and had it done onto me. It is some straight up power. So you're probably wondering, like, what? I, I don't understand. All right, let's say for example, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of a really good example. A really good. All right, I got an example. I got an example. You guys know that that uh that Odd Eyes Magician deck where you, you know you go ahead and synchro summon into that Meteor Burst, right? You know Meteor Burst, yeah, level seven synchro monster. All right, let's say you synchro summon Meteor Burst. Now there's some other level threes in the deck, but you know let's just say for example we throw on a Centric Archmage. She's a level three. Well, a Pendulum Summon Pendulum Monster can be treated as a tumor. So if I Pendulum Summon that Eccentric Archfiend, got that Meteor Burst on the field. Well, three plus seven is ten. And despite Eccentric not being a tuner, 
This card is Synchro Summon. You can treat one Pendulum Summon Pendulum Monster as the tuner. That is some power, people. That pretty much means that you don't even need to run a tuner like that. I mean, of course, you've got to run the tuner to get access to the Synchro Monster that you need to go into the first place to make this. But after that, I mean, just, just have the correct levels with the Pendulum Summon Monster, and that is your tuner. That is, that's a power. I don't think that's ever been done before. Where it's just like, yeah, you know what? Go ahead and treat this monster as a tuner for me, alright? And then you can go ahead and summon me. Like, that, that, is, that is power. But he has more effects. He ain't done. This guy ain't done. We went through a ton of effects in this video, but this man ain't done. If this synchro summon, uh, if this card is synchro summon, using a pendulum summon monster as a tuner, alright? So, keep in mind, this, you, not only do you get to use that, but you get a sentence. You can target one card card in your graveyard and add to your hand doesn't matter if it's monster spell or trap it's going back in your hand i mean for goodness sakes we had freaking magician of faith banned for how long because it grabbed the spell back we still have to this day until you know uh, it's confirmed on banned. she still have demog banned because he grabbed that spell back from that graveyard i mean see he even got it out of this guy any card any card you want you know pick a card he's got you that that that's probably that's really his power yeah. I don't know, on Daily Duels uh, on uh, Monday uh, with Buster Blader, I freaking lost a duel because I was an idiot facing down this card. So, uh, don't, don't fuck with this card. Don't fuck with this card. But he's not done. What? He's not done. He has another effect. Like, man, this guy, like, he doesn't have an effect. He has a whole damn book on his fucking card art. Like, this is going to be so squished. Everything, there's just so much card text. Like, holy crap. All right, let's go ahead and look at his another one. Another effect. All right. Uh, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, all right, you can have your opponent's life points. What? Yeah, yeah. Destroy monster. Yeah, yeah. You you fuck up an opponent's monster by battle with this card. Have your opponent's life points. It doesn't say during the end of the damage step, during the end of the bout. For no, I attack. You're dead. Cut your life points in half. Then the rest of my goons get the attack in for a game. Like. That is some fucking power, like, damn! Like, uh, oh my god. <laughs> if this card in your monster zone is destroyed by battle by card effect, place it in the in your uh, pendulum zone. So, you know, he dies, he gets destroyed by battle by card effect, I'm going to the pendulum scale as long as he, you know, he's able to, you know. And then I'm in the pendulum zone, and then if I'd gone in the pendulum zone, then I guess he would go back to the extra deck, but face up, which there's no pendulum scale that goes up to 10, so I guess you're not pendulum summoning him back, but, you know, still, that, mm. So, a couple of people are saying that this man is broken. Do I think Nirvana High Paladin is broken? No, I don't think he's broken. Is he really good? Yeah, but, I mean, rightfully so. I mean, he is a double sync, synchro pendulum monster, the first one in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, they had to, you know, seriously bring it on this one. I mean, in my opinion, you know, Rebellion was kind of difficult to do and kind of lackluster, but definitely this right here is exactly what you want to do when it comes to a Synchro Pendulum Monster, and they gave him the works. They were like, we're going to make this man power. So I'm not complaining, definitely not. So I don't know, man. <laughs> it's, just, it's just amazing. I can't wait to see him. I think he's going to be popping up in the anime soon, if not the next episode, the episode after that, spoiler alert. But uh, yeah. Uh, so looking forward to, uh, you know, how that goes down, but just wow, just wow, right? we've been waiting forever for this, and here it is. Definitely have to get the card review on this. So, we got our XC Pendulum Monster, now we got our Synchro Pendulum Monster, and you know what? This sparked some creativities in some people, uh, one card in specific I want to talk about and look at, so, uh, here we go, so a little bit of spoiler alert, Fake Card Friday, people, Fake Card Friday, we're going to be looking at a fake card of a fusion Pendulum monster people we're gonna be looking at someone who made that and uh, you know reviewing as if it's a real card and how it stacks up to of course, you know uh, uh, Odd Eyes Rebellion and of course Nirvana High Paladin in their respective categories So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support Tell me what you guys think about Nirvana in the comment section below and uh, looking forward to that fake card Friday and of course more card review next week. All right people. Thanks for watching